Yeah, it's super weird, but as I've been doing my Isle of Armor guides and Crown Tundra leak coverage, I've been seeing tons of comments of people saying, Hey, why aren't you talking about the Mega Evolutions? Megas are confirmed for the Crown Tundra. There were new items that came out in the data mine. We have Megas now! Or even before the Isle of Armor came out, I was talking about how there's nothing to suggest Megas and there's no reason to expect Megas, but people were saying, Oh, you're wrong, Verlicify. There's Megas that are in the data mine, so that means if it's not in the Isle of Armor, it's confirmed for the Crown Tundra. Or I saw this fake leak on Fortune that this fraud Poketuber is talking about, therefore it's real, Megas are back! No, there has never been anything new coming out about Mega Evolutions to even suggest that or cover, and that's just basic Pokemon. So we have this from one of the data miners to clear up misinformation I've seen being spread. I don't even know where it started, how it started, where it came from. People are just so desperate for their removed feature that has no reason to come back, they just go straight up lie about it. No, Game Freak did not add in Mega Stone sprites in the latest patch for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Those sprites have existed since launch in November and weren't touched. And there we go. That's how Pokemon works. People are saying, well, if they're not going to bring back Megas, then why are Mega Stones even in the game data? That's because Game Freak never gets rid of item game data. There's still assets for the GS ball. I mean, this has been well known for over half a decade, and even longer, so this video goes back to 2014 where I was talking about how there's items like the GS Ball in Pokemon X and Y. Does that mean there's anything crazy going on with it? No. Also, there's the flutes in Pokemon X and Y. Wasn't really anything to directly just be like, yo, Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire confirm, but just kind of showed like, no matter what Game Freak has planned, the items are going to be there regardless if they're used or not. So there's really nothing special, there's nothing to kind of kick up like, Oh, they kept in Mega Stones! They're planning on bringing it back! No. And then it gets even better. Their internal item arrays also haven't added back in Mega Stones. Boom. This is where it just gets sealed completely. Sprites for every single item have existed in Sword and Shield since launch. So this isn't a new thing added in with 1.2. Again, I don't know where this lie spreads, how it spreads, or why people just fall for nonsense. But that's just the Pokemon community now. There's almost nothing real left. It's ridiculous. Either way, sprites for every single item have existed since launch, but if their item arrays don't include these item IDs, then they aren't usable in any way. An example would be the dubious disc. At launch, an item sprite existed, but wasn't usable until 1.2.0 added it in. Now you might be thinking, oh, that means they're just going to add it in with the Crown Tundra and then Mega Stones are still going to work and Mega Evolutions are confirmed. No, because there's actually items that work with the Crown Tundra update. Reveal Glass and Zygarde Cube item scripts are present in version 1.2.0. So if there's anything to take away from the coverage that we've been doing for over the last week about the Crown Tundra functionality in the Isle of Armor update, it should also show like, yeah, if Mega, Mega Stones were like working or had an animation or had an item array, then something's up. But items intended to have item arrays, they're working, like the Reveal Glass. It, it functions, like even though Landorus isn't in the game, it still has an animation. It still works for their resp respective Pokemon because the scripts are still in. And they even have new animations. It's all updated and it works. But there's nothing to suggest that for Mega Evolutions as you go into the dynamo uh, data mine. Actually, we can even go back into Pokemon Sun and Moon because in that demo, you could just straight up have animations for Megas. The Primal Reversion animation was functional and worked in the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo for some reason. So it, it, it's also one of those things that happens instantly, so it's not like a trigger for the item. You could just kind of change it around to where the game believes that Pikachu is a Kyogre, you give it the item, and then that's a Primal Reversion Pikachu. The models weren't in the game because it was only like the Pokemon used inside the demo, but it still worked in effectively its full functionality. So that's effectively what's going on here, but there's nothing to suggest that for Mega Evolutions. And even when we go back, you know, the Dubious Disc, there was also nothing to be like, oh, that means we're, like, the Dubious Disc is in, that means Porygon's confirmed, because it, it didn't work, and then it worked. But now we're kind of seeing all the Pokemon that are coming back. And then also because, of, like, weird Dex classifications and stuff, we were able to figure out all of the Pokemon that are coming back with the Isle of Armor, because instead of, like, straight up deleting the entire Dex for that Pokemon, it's just scrubbed and left empty. But then that can kind of go, okay, this Pokemon's not returning at all, and then that means this Pokemon's coming back. So we got a lot of that information as well. And then there's still some other things to clarify about all the data mine, all the information, all the things that people are trying to take with it. That sort of thing. Like, it's really good to inform yourself. Like, you need to leave a like on this video so it doesn't get suppressed by dislike botting. Also, share it with your friends so they don't go and spread false information that's provably 
false and that's provably a lie or something. So keep everyone informed because like, yeah, if someone knows about this data mine information and they try to post a fake leak on 4chan, no one else is privy to it, then that means it's going to look more legitimate even though it's already confirmed or debunked information. So clearing up additional questions, concerns people have had. We don't know if Regilecki, Regidrago will be version exclusive. Can't figure that out from the game, because, like, not everything in the Crown Tundra is in, even though, like, a ridiculous amount of stuff works. And it is kind of strange, because we see the split dungeon inside the trailers, so we don't know if, like, if you have one version of the game, it's going to make one side work or the other, or you just get access to both of them. We won't know what is or isn't shiny locked until the DLC 2 is out. Are all the Ultra Adventures going to be shiny locked? Are all the new Reggies going to be shiny locked? Are they just going to be available? Are we going to have a shiny Reggie Gigas opportunity? We don't really know that. Also, the Legendary Birds. Is Game Freak just going to keep with that trend? Or are they going to make them available shiny? And we don't have any new DLC2 Pokemon models, so we can't check any new shinies that way. So that's another thing to note. Like, with this, we have these models. We also don't have models for, like, the new Legendary Birds. We don't have the Calyrex model. There's also two other Pokemon that are new that apparently fuse with Calyrex. I've been already covering that and talking about it. We don't have anything, so we don't know how all of that is going to work exactly. So it's not like, oh, we look at it and we see the shiny model. But even if those Pokemon had a shiny model, that doesn't confirm if they're shiny locked or not because there were models for shiny Tapus in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but those were only made available through the event. So even if the Pokemon, and also like Pokemon like Zeraora, even if the Pokemon isn't intended to have a shiny release at all, like there's some Pokemon that just never got shinies. And even if the Pokemon isn't intended to have a shiny release at all, it's still going to have a shiny sprite. So we could see what it looks like but we don't have anything to support that at this time. So please, don't work yourself up about Mega Evolutions. There's nothing to suggest that they're coming back, and there's not even a reason to hope that they're coming back because it's just so improbable, especially with the whole Dynamax phenomenon. Maybe it's gonna be something different for Generation 4 remakes, that they might come back if Dynamax doesn't interact with the Sinnoh region in some way. Who even knows at this point? They shoved Mega Evolutions back into Hoenn region, gave us new Mega Forms as well. So that's what we gotta wait on, but when it comes to anything Pokemon Sword and Shield Galar related, absolutely nothing to support it. And the same thing for Shinies. You don't need to bother yourself now to wonder like, oh, are the Dynamax adventures going to be Shiny locked? Are they gonna be Shinies? How am I going to get this shiny? I want the shiny legendary birds. We don't know anything about that, so you just need to have patience, which is something else that the Pokemon community desperately lacks. And then we can just kind of like go through some of the other interesting things that have come up. Top and bottom halves of Crown Tundra map with fly locations labeled. Huh? How? What? This is happening now? So now we can find out where the locations are? That is just too much for me but, i mean here we go so we can see the crown is actually on the north part of it which means it's closer to mainland Gar galar apparently we have the reg ice den we have dynamax adventures which is apparently what chica is and we have minshuku no idea what that is reggie steel and then we have the uh reggie dens over there and also at the bottom bird tree so bird tree is at the bottom we've already seen bird tree we've seen a lot of location terrain and gameplay around bird tree and then we also can see where reggie rock is as well and because of this we've already talked about it but the crown tundra looks absolutely massive it dwarfs the isle of armor there's a ton of fly points that seem to be pretty relevant the only issue is that it doesn't look like there's a lot of new pokemon returning so just going to be like, a lot of cool stuff going on, but not a lot of new Pokemon to engage with, unless Game Freak plans on adding in more, because when it comes to the Isle of Armor, like, the Crown Tundra isn't finished. Game Freak can't just drop the Crown Tundra in a perfectly functioning way tomorrow. No, it's developed alongside the Isle of Armor as DLC, so I'd imagine some of these things were just kept in because they were developed together and you don't want to go ripping out code because that sounds like a nightmare. Nothing good comes from doing something like that. So it's kind of having what works works. So this is effectively a beta look, at the Crown Tundra. Is this going to be most of it? Most likely. Are some things going to change? Maybe. Are things going to be added in? Maybe. So we can just kind of get a look as to what's going on over there. And then there's still like other features we don't know about. So we had the Galar Star Tournament announced. And then we have this information. So Game Freak updated their trainer ID hash table with all of the DLC2's trainer data, but unfortunately scrubbed the actual trainer data. So they scrubbed the data, but they have the data. Game Freak scrubbing is so weird. Like, they just straight leave things in. So we get a good amount of information, but they don't have the full details because they made an attempt at scrubbing. It's weird. But that said, here's a list of the Galarian Star Tournament trainers. We only know who they are and not what Pokemon they have. So we don't have the full list. And we already saw this. 
We already saw this kind of being shown off. There's a little bit of a blurb on the official Pokemon website, but now we just have like the full thing and all of it, you know, it makes sense. It comes together. That seems like the way. However, on top of that, there's t uh, there's something named Dream Matches. Not sure what these would be used for, and it's 27 new trainer battles. Is this a new way of getting battle points? Like, restricted sparring just kind of existed, so is there going to be some kind of like Dream Match feature that can pair you up against random trainers and have something happen? Are these just overworld trainers that have like that dream background uh, battle area because they don't kind of fit in anywhere or something? Is it going to be used for features? So, I mean, it does suggest, like, even though we've had so much information coming out of data mine, there's still, like, new features that are kind of hiding that make it exciting. Still items we don't know about. Still a lot of other mechanics and things that could be added in. Plus, whatever we don't even know anything about that Game Freak is just going to add in because it's currently being developed right now after the implementation of the Isle of Armor. In addition to that, there's two battles with Peony and one with Marnie. We know from other file names there's a battle with Adventure Female, but nothing in the hash tables. Adventure Female, her... So, it's all coming together when it comes to this information, but I think the Marnie one shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Sounds cool. Sounds hype. Marnie's going to be, like, a part of one of our adventures. That sounds really cool. But, I mean, Hop tagged along on the Isle of Armor, so it would make sense if Marnie just kind of, like, popped up in the Crown Tundra. No surprises there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Just kind of breaking everything down since, like, the leaks keep on coming. I thought after the map it was over. Nope, it was not over. And then there's also been, like, a lot of information just kind of, like, loosely thrown out from the data mine. So it's good to get clarification from the data miners themselves. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.